Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? What's good? What's good, my people? I was asked a thousand times. What's wrong with they tell? Uh, why did I dock them? And do I think it affect them in the long term? And here's my answer. I'm gonna try to re- refresh my memory. Uh, but anyway, for this why, it was a petty reason. Gaga pups look like Zaza pups. Zaza had the five younger ones, so I've docked the five older ones that came off Gaga, right? Um, cause let me see, Gaga and Zaza had one meal chocolate. Gaga and Zaza had. One male buckskin black mask. Gaga and Zaza had one female buckskin black mask. Gaga and Zaza had one black seal female. Gaga and Zaza had one black seal male. So all five of those. And I have done the collar thing before. They usually rip it out. You buying a little cheap collar, little cat collar, little, little ribbon. My puppies rip them shits off. They always have. They are for years. So I say, fuck it. Can't rip this off because it's already gone. Took the tail. So it was just simply that because they was in at an age. They was born. Uh, like 10, 11 days apart, whatever. And I knew I was going to put those together. I knew that all of them was going to go at one spot and boom. That's what I did. Especially when the Gaga puppies kind of fell off real bad. And they was really about the same size. Like they fucking shot up recently. But at the time, Zaza pups was just as big as Gaga pups. Believe it or not. Can't tell it now, but I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, especially with uh, PJ being so big. You know what I'm saying? He looked at least 35 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And he's still under a year. Uh, I had a good prospect that I lost. It was 34 pounds, 18 months. So... That kind of give you a size difference. If he keep growing, he gonna be a pretty nice size uh, fella. Uh, my hogs ain't gonna be able to dodge me like that. And do I think it'll affect them? No, why would it? If anything, it's an advantage. Like say, for example, if you out there, you weight pulling, right? Pound for pound. You can cut off a pound and a half or two, depending on type of dog, how thick the tail, how thick the ears, long, or whatever. What breed? You taking an advantage. You know what I'm saying? You got at least a pound if you, if you dock ears and tail. You know what I'm saying? It just tails on this one. I'm thinking about docking, but it's advantage pound for pound for the weight pulling goals. You might easily get the weight pulling uh thing. Uh. For this hunting hogs, it's a wrestling. It's wrestling. You when a, in in a physical contact, you do not need a tail. The reason tails was thought of is improving balance is because we see these wildlife animals chasing. They's not in contact. They is not in a battle. You see what I'm saying? Chasing is different. If it's chasing a, a, a fast ass, quick moving hair. See, that would cheetahs need a long tail to stop and move. Right? To 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 turn quick, chasing the gazelle. 
because they can move on a dime and they fast and they doing it in lightning speed. Uh, your dogs ain't gonna be out there chasing no goddamn gazelle. If anything, a deal. I mean, a all uh, a hog, and a hog ain't quick turning, moving, flinching, getting out the way fast like that. You feel me? So, no, it it it, it don't affect them at all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to talk historically, it it's plenty historical dogs that them went on and did what they had to do without a tail or ears. You see what I'm saying? But uh, to get back on the uh, subject of the matter, being uh, no dogs sold and bred for legal purposes. Now, let me give you more examples. Take a uh, nature. Balance wise, a bobcat climb trees better than any big cat out there. Take balance, take skill, take take them those things. Uh, why they don't fall out of tree more than cheetahs, lions, and cougars and monkeys? They ain't got no tail. They got balance. They, they got little claws happening, but they agile in them trees with no tail, with a dark tail. It's because the animals, what they bred for is what they're going to be good at. And they don't need a tail for certain tasks, like balance. You know what I'm saying? Your dog clumsy is clumsy. Your dog has balance. The dog going to have balance. Tail on or off is not going to change that. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make that little video to uh, explain why it is an advantage to adopt a tail than a disadvantage. Dog's balance is not in their tail. It's in their feet work, their foot work. And what they, you know, physical abilities are. If you got a good wrestle, tail or no tail. If if you got a uh, weak back end, tail ain't gonna help you. You know what I'm saying? If you got a weak back end, tails ain't gonna help you. You you just, you just gotta uh withstand the damn hog until you can get up on your own. You know what I'm saying? So. And yeah, but that should solve and answer the questions. Uh, you feel me? That should do it all. But yeah, and <laughs> what I know most definitely, all the one with a dark tail. They, 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 they good ones. All of them. I, I was going to actually keep all the ones with dark tail, but I had, hey, you got to let Kelpel on get out just in case you need to get them back. So, if a wise man told me, don't be greedy. So, I ain't. But y'all be easy. Y'all hit the like button, man. Y'all know y'all forget to hit the like button on me. But it's all good. Subscribe. Share. Put your homeboys on it. You know, we out. One.